Um, next move I'd like to show you in this series of wrist mount moves um, is this. It's like a bam, bam. Now, what just happened there? Well, um, hopefully you guys know this magic drop move, or at least how it works, how the yo-yo actually flies off the string, because in this move, when you hit and come back off into the wrist mount, when you go on the other side of your, when you go on your throw hand side, it's actually going to do a magic drop kind of thing, the yo-yo is going to uh, reject the string on the back side of it, and it's going to land on both the strings. You just pop it off from the front, and you land it on the bottom string, and you get back to the wrist mount. Um, maybe that's a little hard to explain slash understand, um, especially because it's really hard to see. So you're here, you can that's the cool thing about this wrist mount, you can double on and come back off with nothing happening. It just It's just like a cool move right there. Or you can just do one. Um, okay. So, do this on thing, or you don't have to. Come back off, and you swing it over on the other side. And you're always going to reject that string towards the back. And you pop it off on the front. And you land it from the front on this bottom string. And now you're back in the wrist mount. You dismount however you like. Or you can continue your uh, phase of tricks. Um, so again, it looks like this. Bam! Bam! Okay, next move is uh, Boingi with um, wrist mount. This is a pretty obvious, pretty obvious move, I think, but uh, for those of you you who may not have discovered it yet, here it is. Wrist mount, and you just boingy, woo, boingy right there. Okay. okay, so next thing I'd like to point out is that the wrist mount is really just a knot that you're separating with both of your hands. Um, with that being said, um, be careful uh, when you're doing tricks with wrist mount, be careful which side um, you pop the yo-yo from, like uh, from the front or the back um, because depending on which side it popped out from uh, that's the side it's going to have to go back on from when you dismount otherwise you'll end up with a knot of some sort um, and it's going to be a pretty bad knot so okay so this next move oh, from the wrist mount remember that door motion I showed you on the getting off part so you can dismount well it's the same motion but forward Turn the doorknob the other way and uh, land it on the same string but on the front. And from here, you just um, there's not really anything you can do from the, from here, but you just swing it off, release that loop, uh, release this front loop you just made, and uh, land it on something. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. You can land it on pretty much whatever string you like as long as you keep track of where the yo-yo came from. Oh, I have a knot. I'm gonna stop it. Okay, sorry about that. So, um, turn it, land it on this front string, and you you fly it off onto a string. You can land it back on this bottom string, uh, it's, and if you do, it's probably going to land from the back, and you're gonna have this extra twist up here. Or, you can land it on that top string, and you'll end up looking something like this. Um, in which case it doesn't really matter. But remember since you, let's just say for example from here, it came from the front so when you pop it off you're gonna have to land it back on that bottom string from the front so you can dismount without getting a knot. So um, I guess from here what I can show you is uh, what to do, I guess what you can do. Um, so from here you fly it off, say it lands on the top string right here. You can, uh, what I like to do anyway, is transfer this loop onto my thumb and uh, swing it off from the front, remember, and uh, either land it back on, you get like a trapeze, um, 
basically from this mouth, once the string is on your thumb, you can just ignore this. It's just fancy extra string. You can think of this as a trapeze or a trapeze brother or double or nothing. All from this wrist mount. You just have this extra string. And uh, say you do this rewind looking thing. So trapeze, brother, come around, double or nothing, blah blah blah, roll out. From here, you can like pop it and land it on this bottom string from the front, back in this first mount, and you can just mount. Um, that's, um, that's a way. Uh, another way is uh, you run the wrist mount, you do this thing, say so you land on the top string again, or the bottom string, doesn't matter, let's say the top string, transfer to your thumb, so it's like nothing again. Um, swing it off, and what I've been doing recently is swinging off, going around, and landing into 1.5 with the wrist mount. Um, and then from here, you can swing around, blah blah blah, I don't know. But um, what I've been doing anyway recently is uh, landing in this 1.5, letting go, and uh, swing this on the other side, and uh, while swinging it, releasing this loop I made by letting go of that 1.5, and landing it in like a trapeze, or just back on this front string so you can dismount. Um, so here's what it looks like kind of fast. I like it anyway. And the last thing I'd like to show you guys in this video is a tunnel move. How to dismount from here. So from the wrist mount, do your undercut thing, you're here. And you, anyway, it looks like this first. Okay, how to do it. Um, wrist mount, grab this string. Um, that you normally do this dismount with. Um, grab it, let go, uh, pull it towards you, and let go of everything. And you end up in this twisted, knotted mess thing. So what tunnel tricks are is you open up a tunnel thing and you pass the yo-yo through it. And through that you'll get a different string formation. And this one just so happens to be a trapeze. So, you can use that as a discount.